Okay, you can go. Okay, this is a thoracic cavity, and we went ahead and cut through it. The first thing you want to deal with is your different cavities within the thoracic cavity. So you have your pericardial cavity, and you have your visceral pleura, which is always on the organ. So the shiny surface on the organs will be your visceral pleura. And then we, of course, broke the pericardial um, parietal pleura. It was kind of like a bubble. Um, there might be some remnants of it on... Um, the size, but it's kind of hard to see. You also have your pleural, um, your pleura, so you have your visceral pleura and your parietal pleura, and that has to do with the lungs. So again, on top of the lungs, this shiny stuff will be your visceral pleura, as opposed to your parietal pleura, which might be attached to some of the sides, just hard to see. So this is your heart, and these are your lungs. Always remember that um, your right side has three lobes, and your left side has two. I might have gotten that back. Okay, um, so let's go over some of the veins and arteries here. Okay, so from your heart, you have your aortic arch right here, and there's three branches coming from your aortic arch. The first one right here is your brachiocephalic trunk, and if you follow it a little bit, you're going to see that it shortly after that branches into your right common carotid, and then there's going to be another one right here that goes to your right um, subclavian. The next branch off the aortic arch is your left common carotid, and the last one finally, which is way under there right here, is going to be your left subclavian. Now, in rats, your, um, it's not called the superior vena cava, that's only in humans. What happens instead is you have your brachiocephalic trunk from here and you have another one from this side right here and they come together and they actually merge towards the back of the heart. Some people call that the superior vena cava, but for now we're just going to call them separately. They're brachiocephalic veins and they come and merge together. And they, um, up here branch off to form the jugular veins that you located earlier here. Um, so this will be the um, right atrium and right ventricle, and then over here you have your left ventricle, or uh, atrium, excuse me, and your left ventricle. This is your diaphragm right here, um, and we can look and hopefully see. So I was going to look for the vagus nerve. We're good. I think that's enough.